So our Hall of Residence really focuses more on independence and moving on transition for higher education or for living independently when they finish their time here at the college. I was quite isolated before coming here and since coming here I can do anything I want to and I've gained a lot of independence from being able to do that. The halls of residence all have individual ensuite rooms. Each student has their own room and own ensuite facility. Welcome to my room. Uh, this is a typical room at the uh, RNC. Uh, as you can see from looking around, you can make uh, the room your own. Uh, like I've got my Welsh flag, uh, I've got pictures of uh, Doctor Who, I'm a fan. Because you've got so many people of your own age around you, there's always someone to talk to and have a laugh with. Like any uh, residential college or university, young people who are away for the first time will often feel homesick and quite often need uh, quite a lot of emotional support from staff to reassure them and to encourage them to talk about how they're feeling. I was 16 years old when I came uh, to RNC. It was hard at first, but I adjusted and I'm glad I did it now. After one week, we realised, OK, it was difficult, but it really is the place for a 16-year-old and uh, it's a safer work for us and Kieran. Hopefully it'll work for everybody. He have got loads of support and I've got loads of people to go and talk to if I need to. The staff are lovely. So we have um, activities on weekends and some evenings um, that enables them to get involved in things that they might not have been involved in before but also to um, be with their peers um, while, at, while doing activities um, and it helps them increase their social independence and social awareness. We've got 24 hour um, support on site including waking nights um, so the staff available all day and all night that are able to um, ensure the health and safety and welfare of all the students. A lot of the work that we do with young people is in ensuring that they know how to access the community safely and giving them support and encouragement to go out and uh, begin to explore the community independently. It's fantastic because you're surrounded by people 24-7 and there's support um, around um, around you whenever you need it. Here at the college we have a team of nurses based in a specific health centre. Um, we also have a counsellor accommodated in there um, and the support that they provide is really primarily to support students that have perhaps additional medical complications that might be a barrier to education for them. And then you sort of spend most of your time with um, your, your whole mates and get a really nice close bond which is quite nice. Most of our students are, are sociable people like, like everyone I think they often through no fault of their own have had barriers to their socialising in school. I have a really nice friendship group and we all uh, hang out every night in the common room and at the weekends we go into town together. The support at the RNC is phenomenal. My independence has definitely increased without a doubt. I love being at RNC, it's completely changed my life. Just made a lot of good friends basically and really enjoy it. They go out together, they go into town together now, whereas Kieran would have never had that opportunity at home. If you want to come here, just don't give up on fighting for your funding to come here. Don't give up, just keep on fighting because one day you're going to come here and you're going to love it the way I do and you're going to have more opportunities here than you do wherever you are now. To find out more about the Royal National College for the Blind, visit rnc.ac.uk.